Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we will discuss an introduction part to linear models. We already discussed tree models and rule models. These linear models plays an important role in machine learning. Why? Because of the simplicity. Because of simplicity, the linear models plays an important role. How the simplicity occurs? So some manifestations that is some points for occurring of simplicity are linear models are parametric. The first one is linear models are parametric. Parametric means the linear models have a fixed form. The linear models have a fixed form or form is a fixed structure with a fixed form with a fewer number of numeric parameters or a small number of only a minimum number of numeric parameters that are to be learned from the data that is from the given data we are learning only a small number of numeric parameters and it is a fixed structure compared to tree models and rule models the structure is not fixed in advance rule models and tree models the structure is not fixed depending on the variations that is depending on the input the structure changes but the linear models the structure is fixed this is the one point for the simplicity second one is stable linear models are stable stable means suppose if you are performing any variations suppose if you perform a variation on training data so you already know training data and testing data. Our models are constructed based on the training data. Training data. If you perform any variations in the training data, it does not have any impact. It does not have an impact on the learning model. If you perform any modifications on the training data, the impact is does not are very low on the learning model on the learning model but suppose the considered tree model for example decision tree if you modify anything if you modify anything in the training data the complete structure will change the complete structure will change because for example if you are making a split at the root based on the split the entire tree changed Suppose if the split is based on length, the tree is one format. Suppose if you split is based on some another future height, the entire tree structure changes. That is if any variation on the data, the entire structure modifies. That is the learning model changes. But in linear models, it has a fixed form. So if any variations on the training data, it does not have any impact on the learning model. Okay. Suppose next one is the linear models are the linear models are less susceptible to overfitting on the training examples less susceptible to overfitting on the training examples that is there is a less chance of occurring overfitting in the given training examples but consider even though this is simplicity but in linear models there is a chance for occurring of underfitting there is a chance for occurring of underfitting based on these three one we can say that the linear models are very simple learning models in machine learning suppose if you are combining these two features if we combine these two features that is the stable and overfitting the linear models are low variance high bias models based on this one the linear models are low variance and high bias model low variance and high bias models compared to decision tree suppose decision trees are high variance and low bias what is the advantage of this high biasing advantage of this high biasing is the overfitting is eliminated the overfitting is eliminated that is there is a no chance of overfitting if you are using high bias data Suppose the decision trees with the high variance, if the decision trees with the high variance are used, if the data is abundant, if the data is abundant, we are using decision trees. That is, 
द सिंपल पॉइंट इज द लीनियर मॉडल्स विथ लो वेरियंस एंड हाई बयास इज यूज हाई बयास यूज इफ वी हैव ए स्मॉल सेट ऑफ डेटा इफ वी हैव ए स्मॉल सेट ऑफ डेटा एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अवॉइड ओवर फिटिंग small set of data and if you want to avoid overfitting these linear models are preferable these linear models are preferable okay generally what we are doing is we are starting with this low variance and high bias and length the model suppose if you required any elaborations we can move to further model suppose we are moving linear model if it requires any modification or if the data size increases then automatically we move to some decision trees okay these are the linear models in these linear models okay what we will discuss suppose we are using least square method we are using least square method to learn linear models for regression and classification linear models for regression and classification next one perception next one perception next to converting these models into that is a classification and regression into probabilistic estimations okay next to kernel level functions all these are discussed in the later sessions okay this is the introduction part to linear models now the next to continuation topic is the least square method which is a linear model for learning which is by using least square method to learn linear models for classification and regression thank you next we will move to least square method